Hey guys, welcome to YSCOM Driving. We are in the McLaren showroom in Glenmarie and we are looking at this brand new car, the first hybrid or rather the first production hybrid from McLaren and it's the McLaren Artura. Alright guys, that's the McLaren Artura. Artura means actually art of the future. So the ART in the front, I can understand, but at the back there is possibly Futura or something like that. So it is Artura, the art of the future. And yes, this car is a piece of art. Look at it. You have these, uh, I don't, these are not exactly gull wing. There's a term for it, but I'm not quite sure. But let's look around yeah the two doors open upwards and this is a beautiful piece of machinery and we just go and look around the car first to give you all a nice view yeah this is the rear end of the car all mclarens look good to me yeah okay that's it this is a walk around of around the car and let's just take a look at the car with the doors closed okay so this is what the car looks like with the doors closed you can see only one side of it because there's another media on the other side doing his presentation here's the thing this is McLaren's first plug-in hybrid high-performance supercar and it's now at the Kuala Lumpur showroom and this is a car that's supposed to blend thrilling performance, driving dynamics and engagement with EV driving capability. Yes, it's a plug-in hybrid and you can charge this up overnight. It will give you 30 kilometers of EV only driving. Now, the car weight is about 1.5 tons and this has one of the best uh, power to weight ratios yeah it's about uh, 200 horsepower per liter and uh, it also presents 488 PS per ton of power by weight now what is powering this car is a 3 liter V6 uh, turbocharged engine the V is 120 degrees yes almost if it went any more flatter, it would be a flat 6. But yes, this is a 120 degree V6 turbocharged engine that gives you 585 PS. Yes, let me just double check. Yes, 585 PS or 577 horsepower. And augmenting this is a 95 PS electric motor. And this electric motor is slightly different from other type of hybrids because this is what you would call uh, or rather McLaren uses this as a power filler that means it fills in the gaps where there is turbo lag or anything like that so it gives you a very linear and smooth transmission of power throughout the ref range so this is a high performance car no doubt despite the fact that it is a plug-in hybrid yeah the plug-in hybrid I think is more to satisfy emission issues rather than to contribute to the power but what they have done is they've used the power like I said before to augment the gaps in the acceleration now it's got staggered wheels in the front and rear 19 inch in the front and 20 inch in the rear what you see here are six spot calipers fixed calipers and the brake discs are carbon ceramic yeah Suspension, of course, is double wishbone all round, and this McLaren is built like all McLaren sports cars with a carbon fiber tub, and everything else is built around it. We'll look at the inside later. Now, at the back, you have four pot calipers, also uh, fixed calipers, and smaller calipers than the front, but the brake discs look like they are almost the same size. But for traction, you get 20 inch wheels at the back. And these are 29535 ZR20. Uh, at the front, it is uh, 
19 inch and I think they are 235. Okay, as usual, the McLaren sports a uh, mid-engine layout, so all the weight, you can see here, the engine is up here in the, in the middle, just behind the driver's seat, and here are the wheels. So the engine is sitting in front of the rear wheels. And at the back here is mostly the cooling systems, and of course, here's the exhaust. This exhaust comes out through the top of the bumper. Uh, yeah, this is, you got to watch where you're standing. If you're standing behind the McLaren when it starts up, you can get your backside burned if you're not careful. Okay, down here you see also part of the aerodynamics and actually underneath they have uh, some aluminium cladding at the bottom to minimize the air turbulence. Okay, so here is the fuel lid, somebody opened it. And this one runs RON 98. Okay, sorry guys, no RON 95 for you. But anyway, if you can afford the 1050 million for this car, you won't worry so much about the fuel price. And over here, you have the side pods. Inside here, there's a huge radiator. And there's one on each side. And this hole is quite big. Yeah, the water will run through. Yeah, be careful where you park your car because cats might end up sleeping here at night. And uh, let's take a look at the inside of the car now. And you see Ken Min there. Hi, Ken Min. Okay. And you can see here, this is simplicity. Okay. It is really very, very simple. Just two seats, buckets of course, and these are not made for comfort, they are made for grip. Yeah, lovely seats. And uh, look at it. There is virtually no instrumentation, but let's take a look at the other side from the driver's side. We're going into the car and here. Yeah, this is a left-hand drive. This is a show model, yeah. You're supposed to take a look at this and put in your order. 1050, 000. Yeah, that's 1,050,000 ringgit. And you get your steering wheel with pedal shifters. There are, there's no gear shift. Let's sit inside here. Yep, simple instrumentation, carbon fiber, pedal shifters, nice and small steering wheel. Just down there, it's just the brake and the accelerator pedal. And the designer probably said, okay guys, let's keep it simple, yeah? just have a little iPad here and then they just kind of like glued it there <laughs> I'm just joking of course this is a oh look at that oh that's the volume and navigation phone media and air conditioning down here you have your start stop button drive neutral reverse and emergency flasher that's it down here is all carbon fiber and okay dashboard is looks like leather so over here you have oh you have your this is to raise the front suspension that's your lane keep lock and boot opening headlights and that's about it yeah very simple and simple instrumentation and here we are another last lingering look at the beautiful car and there you are guys, that's our very quick walk around for the McLaren Artura plug-in hybrid. Thanks very much for being with us and see you in our next video. Bye-bye.